All right, welcome back to the Chicago Bulls. Mind me, it has been a year. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it's been quite a bit since I've uploaded, but I mean, it's 2K and Madden I upload. And this is the time of year where no one wants to play nor watch those. So, um, yeah, don't expect much. I ain't gonna lie. Don't expect much because I don't want to play these games at all. I ain't gonna lie, but there's really nothing else to play. So. Um, I have thought about, you know, dipping my toes in a little bit of uh, Ultimate Team, not my team in NBA because that's just a money pit. I don't want to touch my team. But Ultimate Team, I thought about. Will I do it? I doubt it. But anyways, we're going to continue with the Chicago Bulls, my NBA franchise. If you missed the first, I think it's like three episodes. Uh, go check it out. The playlist will be in the top right or at the end of the video. Uh, but last episode, we made a splash and traded for Kawhi. Leonard at the age of 33, having two down years, only averaged 17 points last season, and this season only averaging 16 points a game, but I have changed it to where he will be the primary scorer, as you can see with a 98 shot tendency. Um, we are currently 26 and 27, all right, we are the seventh seed, and that Kawhi Leonard trade I made to try and make a second half of the season push, because I want this team to contend. Um, maybe not for a championship, I'm hoping... Kawhi can kind of boost us to that, maybe, but I doubt it at his age. But if we go look at the player stats, it seems very, very solid. Okongwu, the 24-year-old center we traded for two seasons ago, he is having an amazing year, leading our team. 17 points a game, 11 rebounds, and a block shooting 50, 53% from the field and 37% from three. He had his big year last season. Uh, 15 points, 11 rebounds, and two blocks. And he didn't win most improved because this man right here, Kobe White, did. He averaged 17 points a game last season as our starting point guard. He ended up winning most improved player. And off our bench this year, he was starting last year due to Lonzo being hurt. But off the bench, which is the where I like him to be, I want him to be our sixth man. He's having an even better season. He's averaging 15 points a game, lower efficiency, but... Uh, he's doing it on 47% from the field, 40% from three, and nearly 90% from the free throw line on nearly 10 less minutes. So, in my opinion, he's playing a lot better, and he's only going to get better. Another player who we gave an extension to in the offseason was Patrick Williams. He had a very, very bad year last year. He averaged 15 points, but on awful shooting. But this season, he's averaging 12 points, but on fantastic efficiency. 43% from the field, but 42% from the three-point line and looking at our rookie here lewis ward in his rookie season 16 points four rebounds four assists and a steal shooting 46 percent from the field and 40 percent from three bringing in Kawhi leonard hopefully he can mentor lewis ward and he can become an even better player his draft um comparison was michael jordan that is correct michael jordan was his comparison we drafted him with the first overall pick um but yeah Lonzo Ball's having a good season coming back. Christian Wood, we picked up in free agent. No, we actually traded for, and he's having a great season. Um, and then Desumu's having a really solid season after last season. So, um, without further ado, we're going to simulate to the end of this current season. Uh, we're past the trade deadline already. So, um, let's get it. 26 and 27, the seventh seed. Let's see how we can end this season. Let's see if uh, Kawhi Leonard can possibly up his points and get us to the promised land this season um if we don't uh, make it to the playoffs i think we will but if we don't make it or don't make it far in the playoffs the offseason will be counted in this episode but if we do make it far in the playoffs this will probably be only one episode so i'm gonna get simulating to probably the last week of the season all right final week of the season we started off rough but as you can see by all the green we went on a quite a run getting what how many wins one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve wins and one two three four five six seven we went twelve and seven if my math is correct or if my counting is correct in that span um not that we simulated in the span that we simulated we were even better we were like 15 and 8 and we're currently sitting at the sixth seed um we basically locked up that sixth seed we will not be in the play-in but we are only two and a half games out of the four seed now and the reigning champion miami he who has zach levine are sitting at that four seed so i mean two games out of the fifth seed we could possibly jump up to five and take on levine and that heat team um the pistons and the hornets are amazing the pistons who just lost 28 in a row in real life 
um, are the first seed of 58 wins. Um, last three games of the season, one going up against the Miami Heat, the last game of the year. Let's see how our players are doing to end it off. Okongu's still balling. Kawhi's doing basically his same thing. Let's see what he did in the month of February and March. In the month of February, he only averaged 13 points a game. But March and April, it's starting to get a little bit better, especially April, he's averaging 17. And Lonzo Ball jumped up. He's up to 15 points a game now. And, uh, the, well, yeah, February and March, 17 points a game. He's been fantastic. Louis Ward took a dip because, obviously, we just brought in Kawhi Leonard. Same thing, Kobe White took a dip. But let's simulate these last games and see how we go. The Spurs, Victor Wembanyama, we win by two, 43 wins. We win. We have 44 wins on the season. We're still at the sixth seed, and that is where we are going to stay. Uh, the Celtics ended up winning most of their games. Same thing with the Heat. And there's no way we can move on. So we, we will be taking on the Hornets in round one of the playoffs. Oh, let's do a little bit of scouting first. I feel like we might be able to take out this team. Oh, my God. They have Bam. Wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What has happened? Bam out of bio for Jalen Brunson. How did... Wait, but there's no Jalen Brunson. The Brun was that last season? Did he get traded there? Because I don't... I can't think of anyone on the Hornets... That they would have traded. Rozier's obviously not here. Very, very weird trade for the Miami Heat. I really don't know how the hell uh, Brunson even got to the Hornets because there's no one on this Knicks team that played for the Hornets. Like, I don't know. I don't know how he got there. I've got no clue. But um, I get. Yeah, wow, the, the Knicks are terrible for doing that. Anyways, yeah, that Hornets team is now scary. Can we beat the Heat? We don't. We end up 44 and 38 as a sixth seed. Um, LaMelo Ball is your MVP. Lewis Ward is your Rookie of the Year. He ended up shooting 40% from three, which is a fantastic sign. Uh, Simons is your Sixth Man of the Year. Mobley, DPOY. Bones Highland is your most improved 20 points a game after averaging only 11. Nice. Uh, Tatum's Clutch Player of the Year. Monty Williams is your Coach of the Year. All NBA teams look like this. We get no one kind of expected, obviously. Lonzo Ball, all defensive first team other than that we get no one else we're gonna get lewis ward all rookie first team and that's it the playoffs are set we're gonna simulate the play in uh leave rotation as is. he doesn't play hornets and the bulls going up they had 28 wins last year and they go all the way up to 50 this should be a good good matchup i think we're better than this team they've just got bam and Lamelo over us but we have the star power i mean we got the best overall not the best player probably at this point of his career but the best overall in the series we got the ball brothers going up against each other i i like our chances they got book night starting i like our chances in this series it's just bam that worries me but without further ado let's start the simulation game one the chicago bulls win in dominant fashion Kawhi leonard with 28 4 4 4 and 2 Wow, what a game. Patrick Williams with 24. Lewis Ward, 17. Lonzo Ball had a double-double. And we win by 24 points. Let's see. Game 2. Your Chicago Bulls get another dominant win, winning by 20. LaMelo Ball got clamped up. And Kobe White this game. It was a, every single player in our rotation had at least 10 points. That That is what this team is built off of. Wow, what a game. We win by 20. We're up 2-0. We completely steal home court advantage. And the Hornets take it right back with a 30-point victory. Kawhi had 30. Lonzo Ball played his heart out, but this was a book night game, apparently. He had 26, and he is playing very good in these playoffs. Wow, really? Lewis Ward, you're really just laying book night cook you like that? All right, since we dropped the game, this might be where I make a rotation change. Like, Dalen Terry, yeah. You're not really getting it done. We're going to lower your minutes to, like, 7. Christian Wood, you're playing really good, but we're going to lower yours. Asumu, you're playing solid. Kobe White. You're not playing good at all. So we're actually going to give some of your minutes to Dasumu. We're going to let Kawhi play. We're definitely going to let Lonzo play. And Okongwu is struggling. And we don't really have someone else that we can trust to guard Bam. Like, we have no other real bigs besides Christian Wood. So Okongwu, you're going to have to put it back together. And the Hornets are going to... None of these games have been close. The Hornets are going to win and tie the series up bam we have no answer for bam that's our only struggle we're going to win back at home 
I believe. Or no, I think we we're on the road. Yes, we were on the road. We're gonna win. Lonzo Ball near triple. Nope, that was Lamelo Ball. Um, Lewis Ward had 27. Kawhi 22. Can we close it out in Chicago against the third seeded Hornets? And your Chicago Bulls are moving on to round two with a two point victory in overtime. The rookie Lewis Ward with 27 points and four steals. Kawhi with 24. And Okongu comes up big with 23 points. And the Hornets with the Lamella Ball near 50 point triple double fall short of making it to round two. And now we got the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's look at those round one stats real quick. Kawhi Leonard, this is why we traded for him. 22 and a half points, five rebounds, four assists, two steals in a block on fantastic efficiency, not from three. But that is why we traded for him. Lewis Ward had a fantastic series. Okongwu did not. Uh, I really hope he picks it up because now we're going up against Allen and Mobley. Alonzo uh, played well. Christian Wood played well. Now this Cavs team is going to be probably our biggest challenge. Garland, Mitchell, Mobley, Allen. Our bigs, I don't think, can compare. I mean, we got Patrick Williams that's going to be guarding Mobley. That's going to be tough. I don't know how we match up with that. The only thing I can think of is benching Ward for, like, Christian Wood just to match size. But let's see how game one goes. And we end up winning by 30. Jared Allen was their leading scorer. Mitchell only had 20. Wow. Wes Garland. Garland only had 10. Lonzo Ball, who had 38, clamped him up. Game two. It's taken. The Cavs only take it by a point, and that's because of Donovan Mitchell's 49. Game three. They only take it by two. They have a negative point differential so far in this series, and we're down 2 1. That's tough, and it's Donovan Mitchell again. I don't I just don't know if we have an answer for this team. I mean, Patrick Williams having a solid playoffs, but 6-7 cannot be guarding near seven foot Evan Mobley. He just can't. And I can't bench Ward because of how good he's playing. Do I throw Kawhi on Mobley? I still don't think that works. Just due to the size. We're going to take Dalen Terry's minutes completely away. Christian Wood's been fantastic in these playoffs. Uh, we're going to take some of Desumu's minutes away. And I guess we're going to give more to Patrick Williams. He's been solid. And we're going to give the rest to Lewis Ward. We can't do much. We're going to be going down 3-1 in a blowout. Blowout defeat. Yeah, we don't got much of an answer. I, I can't really make any more moves. We end up winning only down 3-2 now. Can we force a Game 7? Can the Chicago Bulls force a Game 7 down 3-1? We're at home, and the Cavaliers are starting to pull away. And that looks like, oh, I mean, we're coming back. It's a tie game. One... 19 seconds left. We are down by one. We're going to jump in. All right. Well, I lied. We're not watching from that angle. I just realized Lonzo Ball's number got taken by Kawhi. He's running 21 now. But it looks like we're going to go be going to the foul game. Garland picks up his fourth. Lonzo Ball, you hit both these. Game's not over, but they're going to need a three-point shot. Lonzo Ball, can he knock it down? He misses. It's a two-point game. The Cavs are not going to call a timeout. Coro with the ball. You want to give that ball to Mitchell or Garland. Garland had a decent look. Lewis Ward on him. Kawhi's on Mitchell. Mitchell got over for a second. They're going to try and take the last shot. Can they do it? Garland for three. And it's off. And your Chicago Bulls are going to force a game seven after a two-point victory here at home. Can we pull off this miracle? Can the Chicago Bulls come back 3-1 and take a trip? To the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time in over 10 years. Final box score. Kawhi had 19. It looks like it was another balanced effort. Every single player scored in double digits. You'll love to see it. And for the Cavs, uh, they had a solid game besides Max Struess. But just could not get it together. And we're going to Game 7, baby. The 8 seeded Warriors are in the Conference Finals. Game 7. And the winner takes on the Boston Celtics in the conference finals. We're in Cleveland. We made it this far. Can the Chicago Bulls pull it out? We had the lead going into the fourth quarter. We have a 12-point lead. It's down to two. The Cavs take the lead. One minute left. 40 seconds left. Down by two. Tie game, 17 seconds left. We got another one, folks. Jared Allen is at the line. 
119, 119. 17 seconds left. Jared Allen, can he hit it? He hits the first free throw. Can he hit the second? We have four timeouts somehow with 17 seconds left. That makes no sense. But um, we're going to call a timeout down by two. 17 seconds left. I mean, we got the guy down by two. We got the one guy we want in this situation. Game seven of the second round. We have Kawhi Leonard who gamed that 76ers team. He is on the court. We have our starters out. We're going to inbound it to Lonzo. I assume we're going to hold for the final shot. I want that ball in Kawhi's hands, though. He's got a coral on him. Lonzo's going to hold for the last shot. He's going to call for a screen. It's not looking good. Lonzo ball kicks it out. Kawhi Leonard in the post. Three seconds left. Post fade. And it's no good. Your Chicago Bulls are going to get eliminated in game seven. A Kawhi Leonard miss to send it to overtime ends our magical season. Unbelievable. Down 3-1, force a game seven, and lose in heartbreaking fashion. This team will be back stronger than ever next season, believe me, because what a season we had. Final box score, yeah. This backcourt was too much. 34 for Mitchell, 32 for Garland. Lewis Ward had 27. Okongo had 26. Why just didn't show up to play in this game? A sad way to end our season, but I'm very proud of what this team did, making it to Game 7 of the second round. We get Cleveland, Boston, Dallas, Golden State. Who will make it? It will be the Dallas Mavericks and the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals, the two versus three seed. Who will come out victorious? The Dallas Mavericks sweep the Cavs, and Luka gets his first ever NBA championship, along with Kyrie Irving getting number two. Wow. Let's check out the playoff stats before we end this video. 20 points a game for Kawhi on good efficiency. Not great from three, though. 18 for the rookie, Lewis Ward. He had a great playoffs. Uh, Alonzo Ball, 16, 6, and 11. Okwangu, 15, and 10. Patrick Williams struggled. Uh, his future, we got to look at because 81 overall. He is only 23 still. But, I mean, he's just so small to be playing that power forward position. Maybe we look at him more as a backup three and we look for a true power forward. Christian Wood was a fantastic pickup. He'll be here next season. He played fantastic in these playoffs. Kobe White, not great, but not awful. And Desumu didn't have a great year in the playoffs. But, without further ado, that's going to be it for me. Next episode will be the offseason. Um, the team will probably look relatively the same. We probably will be trying to go after um, that big fish at power forward. I don't know who it will be. It could be maybe a player I was looking at making that Kawhi Leonard trade. And he plays down in Los Angeles. And that is Anthony Davis. He's from Chicago. The Lakers missed out on the playoffs. I believe again, correct? No, they had 53 wins last year. Um... But he, we could be looking at an AD trade, possibly. We had kind of, we have the money, I believe, to make it happen with Williams' contract. Maybe, maybe we don't. Maybe we'd have to throw Kobe White in that trade. But we'll see. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. GG.